is the money coming in? That is the question. I want to go through each one of these piles and then we will get right into your reading because I want to go through dates, times, specifics. I want to go through the nitty gritty, all the ins and outs and all of the details that you're going to need for when you can expect this abundance to come in for you. So let's get right down to it. We have group one. This is moss agate, a beautiful leaf moss agate stone here dark 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 green group two we have angel aura amethyst just a gorgeous rock put that there for you <laughs> and then group three we have jade this is a green jade four leaf clover some of these groups um, will apply for you and some won't. Go with what your gut says. And if you do not find your reading right away to claim, please watch another group because, you know, we can look at the stones and we can get feelings, but sometimes there's a bigger story outside of the stones. So I really, really encourage you to watch multiple readings if one does not stick. Thank you so much for watching Prism Portal Tarot. I am Kat. Let's get right into your reading. And if this reading resonates, please remember to like and share and subscribe. It is so, so appreciated. Let's get to it. Hello, welcome group one. This is your Moss Agate group and let's see what's behind this card. We've got the Golden Palace, number 23. Two, three might be important to you. Two plus three is five, 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 five. So with this Moss Agate, what I see here, and with this first card coming out, the Golden Palace, some of you, now this is, again, this is why we do this sort of the pick of cards, right? Because we feel into the energies that make sense for us. Some of you have a property that is worth quite a bit of money um, or more money than you thought. Um, some of you have been wanting to get a house, uh, as well. Some of you have never had a house and some of you do have a house, but I don't sense that it's yours or if it is yours, it feels like you don't want it to be yours anymore and you want to sell it, but you've, you're, you've been feeling kind of stuck. You've maybe had the, the house on the market and it just like hasn't really done what you've wanted it to do. Um, some of you, yeah, there's just like this feeling of like, wow, am I ever going to get a house? Is that something that is going to elude me for like the rest of my life? Like it's been so hard for people of a certain age to not have access to uh, or have, have the ability to get a house, even though many of us make more money than our parents ever did. Um, and yet we still <laughs> remain without homes. <laughs> you do the math. The math is not mathing, but that is why we are here. That is why we are talking about this. So, wow. Okay. 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 So we've got the 10 of swords coming up for you in regards to your, your money situation. That's okay. You may have had a defeat recently, you know, and that's life. You're human. It's going to happen. You're recovering from it though. Something, you know, possibly like for some of you, like your house depreciated, you're not getting as much as you thought you could for it. Or every time you get closer to getting up the possibility of buying a house, like the prices keep going up. And so you're continuing to seven of pentacles, like you're shoveling those pentacles. You are working your little butt off to try and accumulate the pentacles that you need to get into a house, or you've just been working so hard to sell said house. I want to tell both stories here because I really do feel like both stories are relevant. And some of you, this is not going to be a story for all of you, but some of you are like trying to deal with selling a family property or something, or there's like a family property and it's not really yours. And maybe you're the executor of the estate. You don't live there, but you're trying to even possibly help your parents sell their house. Like it's something definitely involving a house. And then we have the star coming out for you. Um, so I definitely see, we're going to pull a lot more tarot and Oracle here, but what I see right off the bat group one is 
there is something in the form of tangible resources like a mortgage that you either want, you're trying to get a mortgage and get out of this renting cycle, or some of you are trying to, to yes, to sell this house. And it feels very much like um, you've seen a lot of defeats. Like you've been working so hard. I think you've, this is possibly like, for some of you, this has caused like some familial issues with this 10 of cards, uh, 10 of cups in reverse. Um, I don't always read reverses. It sort of depends on the feeling, but for some of you, I feel like it's caused like some issues with your marriage, some issues with your partner, some issues with your family. Like nobody's like really agreeing on exactly what it is that you want to do or how to do it. Um, and so you remain optimistic and that is the most important thing here with the star card. We, we need you as in we, the collective, you know, your family, your, everybody, you know, spirit, we need you to remain optimistic because for some of you, it may be a year, okay? It may be within, it's, it feels like this is going to be wrapped up no longer than a year and a half. I'm getting 17 months. So 17 months between seven and 17 months, this is going to get resolved. So some of you are going to be living in a new home within between seven and 17 months. Some of you are going to be like selling a home and making money from said home. So I want to get some, let me see the best. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I got it. I want to pull from the guardians of the night tarot. Um, because, and I read you guys, I read intuitively. So it's like, I don't have like a plan of decks of like, oh, what are the perfect decks? I mean, obviously I pull like, you know, Oracle cards and stuff, but in terms of tarot, that is all intuitive. And I'll, I'll, I'll post a photo so you can see how many decks I've got at my little desk here, how much I'm fitting, <laughs> how much I'm fitting. And you know, some of you, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much for being here. I know that I, meander but I promise it's always for a reason so I was just gonna say I would post a photo perhaps of, so you guys can see my tiny little desk that I'm working with in the corner of my apartment that I can dedicate to reading tarot for you all it really is quite silly but those of you who are you know missing feeling like you're missing out on a house like I feel you I feel you the emperor we've got coming out for you um things are financially they feel very tough right now and they feel like um it feels almost like every time you catch up something else comes up and things cost so much more than they used to i mean for some of us this is all that wants to come out of this deck let's check the bottom of the deck we also have the star wow okay so we've got the emperor and we've got the star you're definitely in control of these energies, or rather it is important that you keep your wits about you. I will say money brings out the worst in us as humans um, in general. Most of you know this. Um, you have to be careful with, with, with money energies. Some of you have money blocks um, and some of you are fighting with family members over money. Um, it feels like it's attached to this property. Um, some of you, you know, this is only going to be a story for some of you, but I have to say the stories as they come to me because it's important, no matter how niche and weird they are. Um, some of you can afford to get like a condo right now. And like your spouse is like, no, I'm not going to spend X amount of money on a condo when we could live in a, you know, a quote unquote real house. But the issue is here at this rate, you all may never be able to afford like, you know, like, especially if you live in like a big city, you have to start small. You know, some of us live in really big cities. And so you have to start small with either getting, you know, 
a condo or something smaller that is maybe not ex everything that you want, but it's at least some of the things that you want. And you'll then start, you know, you start the meter of, okay, well, I own property now. So this is going to only appreciate in value. Um, some of you have been wondering like, oh my God, am I just going to like rent for the rest of my life? Um, the answer is no. I see some of you. Okay. I need to get some more clarity here. I'm going to use. Yeah. 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 I'm talking. Whenever you hear me talking to myself, I, I'm talking. Well, I am. I, I suppose I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to spirit. <laughs> we got to get hooked in together here. And so I like to go on intuition, which deck will give me the most answers because hi, yeah, yeah, we got, we got some flyers here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take what's on top here. We've got the Eight of Wands, the World. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, coming out next to this Emperor card. This is like magician energy. This is like divinely guided energy. We have the World card. Okay completion this this is wrapping up i promise it's wrapping up it's just taking so much longer for some reason it's it's really taken a lot out of you and i know that you've been making sacrifices and it feels like it's just going to be like this never ending situation but i promise you that in a year and a half's time and i know that that sounds like a long time but trust me these are such big energies that if it were wrapped up any sooner than that, there would be loose ends, there would be issues. So I just feel like some of you are, are going to need to be patient. Six of swords. Some of you have lost relationships over this. I'm really getting the sense that like some of you feel abandoned by your families, by your spouses in, in this endeavor you've been doing many things alone. It's possible some of you have like lost relationships. Like, like it's possible that like somebody's spouse has left them over these, these energies. And if that has happened, I'm so sorry. I mean, all we can do in life is our best. Right. And it's, it's tough. I've got the three of swords. So I think that there's been a lot of like personal upheaval and for many of you, you're entering like uncharted territory because the amount of money that's about to come in, if this is for those of you that are selling a house or selling a property or thinking about refinancing or, or whatnot, something that wasn't worth something like or much like 20 years ago is it's like oh now suddenly everybody wants to live here and property values have gone up they've skyrocketed or perhaps you live in a really safe part of America or anywhere where you live I live in America so I said America but um and maybe it's a sleepy little town that nobody knew about and now everybody like knows about it because the school districts are really great and you can pay like half price for a really premium house <laughs> like some of you it's a situation like that where you didn't think that this was going to be worth what it is now. It's like sitting on a painting. Some of you have a painting <laughs> that I don't know why that just came through, but like some of you may have artwork that is valuable and you don't know that it's valuable. Like it's just an ugly painting that like you got when your grandpa died. But then if you like looked it up online or you can find out who the artist is, it's like worth like a minor fortune and could like change your life. And you always looked at it and it's not special to you because you looked at it and it never really seemed special. It never really, it just was, oh, that painting at grandma and grandpa's house or mom and dad's house or something. And now you're looking at it like it can make you money. It's sort of the same way um, in terms of like a house for those of you that there's like some sort of property that's being sold. Like you never thought that it was going to be worth what it's worth now. And now like perhaps you and your siblings or you and other family members are like, oh my gosh, like we're about to be rich. Like how is this going to change the family dynamic? Who owns this house? How do we split up the money? I was saying before that money can really change people. I, I do not say this lightly. I say this from someone who has experienced like, you know, someone dying and there's money to be split up. Um, 
It is never as cut and dried as you think it will be. So just per, be prepared. It, I guess I just want to say is that money can really bring out feral qualities in human beings. And uh, we need it for survival. You know, we need it for survival. And so it makes it really complicated when we're talking about it, especially if certain family members have more money than, say, you do. And you don't know how things will be split up. When in doubt, do what the person who is in, you know, I, when in doubt, do the, I suppose, do the fair thing, even if you don't want to. When in doubt, South Node is in Libra, do the fair thing. Okay, I don't know who that message is for. For some of you that have been wanting a house and you're feeling like it's never going to happen, let me get some more clarity for you. Um, I'm trying to find the right deck for you because I don't know. I feel like, thank you for bearing with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to pull, okay, well, first of all, let's, for those of you that need um, that this is like, you know, you're wondering when the house is going to come through. When am I going to live in a house? When am I going to have the house? Some of you, you're wondering if the house that in question is like going to be given to you entirely, like, and, or something, you know, maybe your parents, it's like too big for them or something. And you have a growing family or, oh, okay. This one wanted to come out. Heal the ouch. Okay. We've got a fox and a raccoon. Um, <laughs> um, sort of playing doctor. There is a new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles, 38. Some of you may be 38, um, 11, 11, 11. Um, that, those are divine energies here with the, uh, with the Eight of Wands. You've got divine help coming in. So if everything is feeling like kind of like lost, please trust that spirit has got this. And we're going to get you the answers that you need. Um, that said, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm doing the math here. That said, I would say between 10 and 11 days. So under two weeks, you will be getting like some ball will begin to start rolling on this in a way that it hasn't before. So um, perfect example, I have a very dear friend that was getting pushed out of her building um, for a, long, a very long story. doesn't matter. She had always rented. She didn't think she was ready to buy. Um, we live in a very competitive city to buy things. Um, and yeah, Page of Cups. There's a newness. There's a hope to this energy. So my friend, then I, we had been encouraging her, talk to a real estate agent because you do have maybe a, a little bit in savings and who knows, maybe there's like a first time home buyer thing. Maybe there's like some kind of thing that you don't know about. And my friend is very, very well read. Like she is so smart and she like, she just knows the answers to everything. And so she's like, well, I already did that research online and I don't think that it's gonna, it's not gonna work. Um, and so she kind of just told herself like, I'm not ready. I can't have this. And she was kind of blocking, I think what, you know, the universe was trying to say, hey, listen to your friends. Like, maybe there's something you don't know. Talk to a professional. So she did. She actually ended up speaking to Nine of Pentacles. See, your luck is turning around here. Um, she ended up talking to a real estate agent who then told her, uh, no, yeah, no, you actually have exactly what you, you need. Uh, to buy, uh, are you okay with it not being an actual house? Would you be open to a, you know, a condo? And the whole idea with that is maybe you'll love the condo. I know you won't have a yard, but at least you'll own something. So then in five years time, because the time is going to pass anyway, then you can buy your dream house with the equity you have on the starter home or starter condo, which doesn't look exactly the way that you thought it would. You have been accumulating resources to make this happen. Some of you are having a five of pentacles. Okay. Some of you, this is a card of lack. All right. Some of you are having uh, almost, it's like 
like I, it's not buyer's remorse because you don't have it yet but it's like you've told yourself that you want to have a house your entire life you've told yourself it's gonna have a white picket fence you've told yourself that it's gonna have exactly four hostess bushes bushes and a burning bush and a japanese maple and it's gonna have these kinds of flowers and it only can be from this part of the country whatever it is that could also be for you too this part of the country part of the town you could maybe live 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour away from where you currently do and live a lot better and, a, and have a lot more if you're willing to make the commute. And for those of you that, you know, work from home or work is sporadic, if you're not doing it five or six days a week, maybe worth thinking about moving out 10, 15, 20, 40 minutes. See what kind of house you can get closer to the country. Um, and nobody takes those highways anyway, you know? I don't know. I just feel like some of you, you need, to, it's the problem, if there is a problem, is the fact that you have told yourself a story that this is impossible and that is impossible. And I know that I'm talking to somebody who has a negative bank account right now or like very close to it. Hello, hi. Um, I see you. I see you. And I know that even talking about this even sort of feels like a fantasy, but I promise you that one day, one day it won't be. Okay. So I'm going to pull, that was probably like the perfect time to end this reading, but you know what guys, I, I just, I want to get some info for you from the die because I feel like this will give you some more clarity just in terms of a timeline or a street name or a family name. You know, I don't know. We've got X, A, N, Z, G, Xander. Some of you, this is a Xander. Um, Brian, Briar, Byron, Nancy, Jack, Timothy, um, Zoe, Ro, um, I, and V. So this is your reading, you guys. I hope that you can get something from it. There are also um, so many other pick a cards in the description box. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here for my meandering way of telling and getting the story out. It's just how my brain works. I know it clicks for some of you and it doesn't for others. Either way, thank you for being here. And if this does resonate, please subscribe. I appreciate it more than you know, and I'll see you in group two. Bye. Hello, group two. This is our Angel Aura Amethyst group, and we are talking about cash, money. And we have number three, 333, three, three, the Wizard of Awareness. This looks a lot to me like uh, Virgo energy, um, like the Hermit card. The Hermit contains much, much wisdom for you. Perhaps look into uh, the Hermit card. Just Google it and maybe just think about it. Maybe put it some of some of the tenets of uh, that card into your daily mantras. Wizard of Awareness. Um, this, I'm talking to somebody that has a great deal of experience in whatever it is that they do that brings them money, um, and also somebody who is not only aware of themselves but how things work like you understand the game i'm not talking to a rookie here and even if i am talking to a rookie i am talking to somebody who knows what they're doing whether it be through great study or through just having innate gifts that others have to study for something that you possess that just comes very naturally to you so let's see what we have here from the before tarot. At the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. So I love to see it. That is nearly the 10 of pentacles. And obviously uh, a card of near completion. You may be, you may be sort of uh, approaching the end, so to speak, of whatever you've been working on very hard. I have you in, coming in in the king of wands. Uh, your energy, uh, the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. So you are someone that works incredibly hard at, at your job and you not only work incredibly hard at your job, you also work really hard at maintaining, uh, 
a good familial balance, um, you know, spending time with your family, spending time with your friends, your soul tribe. Um, you're somebody that a lot of people look up to and you're somebody that possibly even like mentors or should look into mentoring. Um, sometimes if money and, and uh, abundance is sort of blocked from our life, if we've got some blocks, often I find the best thing that you can do is give back start giving back in ways that you can, whether it's, you know, uh, the big uh, brothers, big sisters program. Um, I was gonna say the boys and girls club, that, that has, that's a message for somebody. Um, but some, some kind of charity I'm getting, like some kind of like, even if it's just simply that, you know, maybe, maybe it just means like you stop working so hard and you put down the notebook and you and you just sort of spend time in your backyard, you know, and you take in the nature. Spirit wants you to take in the natural abundance that you have available to you right now um, because there's answers there for you. And some of you have been definitely working like, like way too hard. Like you've been going way too hard. We're going to pull from the Between Worlds deck, Oracle. Oh, wow. Oh, did you see the way that three literally came from three different directions and all just completely flew out at this different times? Wow, that was crazy. These cards really wanted to come out. I have vexation. Wow. Let's see the rest of these. We have vexation, surrender. King of underneath the King of Wands, vexation under the Wizard of Awareness. Ah, I see spirit. Okay, I see what you're trying to say here. And healing. Yeah. So, hey, I call the cards as I see them, and this is why we we pull clarifiers, and we're about to pull more tarot. But I just want to get into these cards first. Some of you are not aware. <laughs> okay, some of you are not aware that there are other things pulling at you right now that really need attention like healing okay and surrender surrender to the present moment some of you are busy planning a future and some of you are spending time reminiscing of a past that is not here anymore it does not exist and all of you in this group are forgetting that there is a right now, right now, this very minute, the moment you are watching this video, this moment right now in your lives is the only time you will ever have this moment and it will go by. It's already gone by. Now we're on to the next thing and you're listening to me. So let's talk about the fact that some of you do not have a good work-life balance at the moment. And some of you have been putting off like getting a surgery of some kind. Some of you have been, there's like something in your chest, something's in your chest. It feels, it's like something needs to be like, there's a, some of you are having panic attacks. Some of you are having like a tightness of your chest and it's a panic attack. Um, some of you are having great anxiety about your, your, your financial situation. Spirit is asking for you to surrender to this situation right now. If you need to take off work to heal something, even if it's not something you deem worthy of taking time off work for, oh, it's just a bunion, oh, it's just a this, it's just a that, well, you've got health insurance now, do it. <laughs> the world is an uncertain place, isn't it? I need a, a sip of water, one moment. Throat chakra. <clears throat> Some of you have some throat chakra issues. Um, I feel compelled to show you this adventuring. <coughs> this represents the heart chakra, okay? Um, something, yeah, your throat chakra and your heart chakra are very, very activated at, in this time. Um, you, those are things that you may need to be healing, those chakras. You've got some damage to your throat chakra and your heart chakra. Some of you, like, have, like, a routine kind of, like, heart problem that's, like, super easy to take care of. Like, you, oh, I just got a bunch of flyers. Okay. 
super easy to take care of and uh, you just need to, you know, like have a prescription and you take a prescription every day. Um, it's, it's stuff like that, like routine, like nothing major, but I'm definitely getting the heart chakra um, get activated. Some of you are very emotionally invested in this money, which I... Uh, I caution you to be, uh, more thoughtful perhaps about that. Um, we cannot be passionate about money. It's a silly thing that we need in this world to get around and, you know, but we don't need nearly as much as what we think. And, um, if it becomes an obsession, it's something that might really, uh, be detrimental to your soul. So let me get uh, the cards that flew out. Hold on. I've got the nine. Is that the only one? <gasps> no, I knew there was another one. Okay. So I've got the nine of swords next to the strength card here from the Lumen, the white Newman deck. Strength card, nine of swords, five of swords. So, I mean, this energy is tough for sure some of you are looking at this and like going oh my god um to me it just reinforces exactly what i just said um some of you have some major healing you need to do and you have been fighting it and it has been blocking your money you know some of you might be very successful or successful in whatever it is that you do um by your definitions and something that used to work isn't working anymore like the business has changed it's modernized i don't know some of you are refusing to see that the future is not going to be what you had thought it would be maybe you're getting replaced by a robot like i mean seriously this is happening all over the place you guys like so, AI is taking over like a lot of different businesses and things that people used to do by hand are not done by hand anymore. Um, and so I think that some of you, you need to surrender to whatever this moment is bringing you. And if it's a stoppage of money, if you feel like you've been working really hard to try and keep up, keep working, it's going to get better. You need to have strength at this time. But I feel like, you know, in terms of, um, when this is going to turn around financially in order to heal. So basically, can I just ask spirit in terms of, of, uh, group two, this angel aura, can I just ask, uh, group two's angels here? What is happening? And like, why is the healing blocking the money? Like, why is the lack of healing blocking the money? I don't understand. I just, I need this piece figured out. Let's see. Okay. Please let me know, spirit. Okay. Oh, no. I'm not going to pull one unless it comes out. Oh, no. I'm not going to pull it. There it is. Okay. So, Knight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you are having a really hard time getting in touch with your emotions and you're used to like just doing instead of being your go, 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 go. You've got this like young energy attached to you. Like you do, you love what you do, but I think that you're just kind of used to, you're used to just knowing like being on top of it, like having your finger on the pulse of it and you don't anymore. And so part of the reason why it's blocked is that your lack of healing has made you stubborn. There's something that brings you constant everyday pain and or is just something that is just a minor annoyance that adds up. You know, these minor annoyances, these little aches and pains or whatever it is, these minor inconveniences, they can absolutely add up. So group two, what I am getting for you is you are in control of this situation, but whatever that thing that you've been neglecting, some of you it's grieving, I'm sorry, but for some of you it is grieving, surrendering to the grief that you feel, 
surrendering to the way things have changed in your life and accepting it so then you can move forward and then that seven of pentacles turns into an eight of pentacles okay i'm so incredibly proud of you look at this nine of pentacles turns from seven of pentacles into eight of pentacles into nine of pentacles you've got it all figured out we just need to sort of keep the forward motion going you're on the right track and humble yourself a little it's okay we're human we're here to learn nobody knows it all i'm so proud of you group two please remember to um subscribe if this this um resonates with you i really appreciate it i've got lots of pick a cards down below in the description box and let's move on to group three thanks hello group three this is our four leaf clover jade stone let's see what card we have from the enchanted map magic stream 18 888 999 angel numbers might be for somebody i have to call them out when i see them so some of you have a quote unquote magical stream of income that you didn't have before that's what I see. I see you coming in here with something unexpected. There's something in your life that you could be maximizing, doing better. Um, there's like a side hustle. Some of you, this is like a side stream of income. Like it's, it's something that you like doing. Like it's a hobby, but you... And you do it a lot. And I feel like it's something that you can like kind of like get better at or like accumulate things. Like you've got things to sell right now, but you've not, you've not done that for some reason. Okay. And those are the cards that are coming out of the before tarot. The before tarot depicts artwork very similar to the original Rider Waite tarot deck. I'm just get going on the floor here one moment. delicate setup as I know you know we've got the two of swords okay um so it depicts the artwork before the traditional artwork if that makes sense so this is the moment before it's depicting so we've got the page of cups the two of swords I'm going to pull all of these cards and then I'm going to start forming some thoughts the four of pentacles Okay, I see a, la a lack mindset for some of you. Um, and then we've got the nine of wands. And if you'll see, there's like a wolf coming through here. Um, okay, some of you, there's the wolves are at the gate. Uh, the wolves are at the gate for some of you. Some of you are quite literally backed up into a corner financially. And you are like literally waiting for a seagull to come by and drop some like money into your cup. <laughs> That's what I see, like the page of cups here. So the lack mindset coming here uh, in this four of pentacles coming out next to the nine of wands. What I see is somebody who is has either, excuse me as I adjust my chair, somebody here is being stingy with some money or some resources, uh, something as, as valuable as money perhaps to you, uh, which could be time, but there's been sort of like a, I don't know, it's like you've been not neglecting something, but you've been putting yourself into like a powerless position. Like this guy about to fight this like dire wolf, I don't think is like, like, I don't know, is he going to win? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think he'll make it or do you think the wolf will, will get him? I mean, you know, like the big bad wolf, big uh, little red riding hood might be uh, significant to you. Quite a bit of red on this board. What I'm saying here is some of you came into money fast or had more money than you normally do and you were not responsible with it and it's therefore all gone and you're kind of like wondering like, wait, what just happened? Like how I had it and now I don't. Um, this is going to be a lesson for some of you. Um, and others of you 
um, grew up poor. You grew up with like just straight up poverty. And so some of you have a lot of wounding when it comes to money and you're super like you're telling yourself you're telling yourself stories that do not that are not helping you so like you've got a lot of stories around money like oh you never treat money like this or you never treat money like that and money money has to be hard and it doesn't flow easily and it's very hard to make money and I'll never make money doing this or xyz okay so we've got bottom of the deck we've got the eight of pentacles this is a card that I have actually seen um it's popped up it's popped up a few times I'm trying to remember if it was in group one or group two um I think it was group two but so you might want to watch group two because eight of pentacles plays plays a part my dears now the, the cards that came out in a, in a particular order, and I believe the order is important, so let me just pull these the way that I saw them come out. So we've got the Devil card, okay? So this is the White Newman deck, and basically you see somebody who, to me, looks possessed. They look indoctrinated. They look like they've joined a cult, and they've like put a weird pentacle tattoo on their forehead, and they are being led by malevolent uh forces uh you're it's like believe it's like being in, uh programmed there's programming here on your level uh when we're talking about money and you really do think money should be hard to make even if even if you don't actually believe that your subconscious has told you or rather is telling me right now to tell you you've got blocks around money you really do feel like it should be hard. You've got to work really, really, really hard. I'm not saying you don't have to work hard here, but some of you, Seven of Swords coming out after the Eight of Pentacles, we then have the Sun after the Seven of Swords, okay? Then we've got the Five of Wands coming out for you. And then we close with the Queen of Swords. So you are like mastering this energy but I feel like there's a bit of a learning curve here so let's get let's get into your programming as to why why do you have these blocks who told you that life is hard life is going to be hard you have to just break your back to make an income to have anything in this life um, it's something like that. Or for some of you, somebody told you you would never succeed like being an artist. Like you had a dad or a mom or somebody or like a caregiver, somebody like a, like a, a guidance counselor or a teacher, somebody say like, oh, don't go into that. You won't make any money doing that. You'll be a starving artist or you'll be, you know, you'll be out on the streets or whatever. And you're really good at what you do. Um, and you really can't do anything else. Like you really, you, you don't feel like you could do anything else. It's what you love. But you've really made a block here on what you think is possible based on other people's assumptions of what you could achieve. And so you've not quite achieved what you want to achieve yet financially uh, because there's creative blocks here. Because you've never truly believed in yourself. Because somebody told you a story long ago that, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, artists don't make any money or, you know, if you go into this line of work, sure, maybe you'll be happy, but like you won't make any money and money is what you need in life. Like there's, there's some, just, just look up what your psychic blocks are around this because I feel like you've been seven of swords, you know, you, you have been, um, really cagey about this you've tried to make money and it's not worked you took a chance and you tried to make some money seven of swords okay maybe there was something secretive involved maybe there wasn't for some of you there was for some of you there wasn't you tried and it didn't work whatever you tried didn't work because it was inauthentic to you you were trying to do it the way somebody else did it and no one's ever been successful that way like we can look at people and be inspired by what they do but you can't recreate their success. Only they can have that success because it's their way. It's their authentic way. With you, it may be something else. You can be, you can be successful in a different way. 
but you're only, you're going to have to find out what that way is because it's not it's not the way that you've been doing it currently okay so can we get some clarity here on um the, the sun, the queen of swords, you have it's like you fight to become your own boss after like years of being like a corporate person. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like because you went into something corporate or whatever, nine to five, because you thought it would make you money, but it's not made you money and you're not happy. And so like now you're like, you know, I don't want to say you're broke, but you, you, you're not even able to enjoy the money that you do have if you do have any because you earned it doing things that you, you don't care about doing. You know, you're not, you're not emotionally invested in this. So I see exclamation point. I think a lot of you have had it right now. Like you're just like there's an exclamation point on this energy. Like, oh, I can't believe I have to go through this again. Like why? And it's because you're not doing what you, what's on your soul path. You're not, you're not completely aligned on your soul path right now in terms of what you're doing for money as a job, because you know, you spend a third of your life. I mean, third of your day working, don't you, you know, or trying to work if you're unemployed, it's a long time. That's, that's a good chunk of your life. You better like what you're doing. It better not feel like prison. O G A S M V C B I H R N dot 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 Z dash. Okay, that is what I have for you, group three. I hope this was helpful. Please follow your North Star. You can get aligned with your soul path. There's lots of videos here. There's lots of like pick a cards and like you can kind of choose your own adventure here. Go find another pick a card and see how it can complement with this right here because I feel like it's going to really help you. Please remember to share and to subscribe. I just saw 1111 and I really appreciate you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. See you next time.